Welcome to another flight vlog here today. We're traveling to Miami on American Airlines economy class. So we're going to be showing you how our travel will be on this one and a half hour down to South Florida. Since I've already checked in, I do not need to go to get any boarding pass, but my partner is with me. So she's gonna go get her boarding pass because she did not have one yesterday. For my partner, since we were not checking any bag, it was just a matter of getting her boarding pass. So for check-in, at least to get the boarding pass for my wife, uh, it wasn't a big deal. There's not really a long line. And as we can see also in security, there's not a lot of long lines today on this flight, but we still do have a TSA pre-check and we do have clear. So we're gonna use that line right now. TSA pre-check, clear and global entry are a must if you're ever traveling. So the lines here at TSA were not that bad. So just went through within two minutes. It actually took us two minutes to go through security, which is super good. All right, now we're gonna go chill, have some breakfast and then head out. Since this was a domestic flight, we do not have any access to the lounge here at RDO. In addition, RDO does not have any priority pass lounge available at this present time, so it was time for us to go and get boarded for our flight after breakfast. As for boarding, my wife was upgraded to first class, which was strange because I have a higher status level than her. Nevertheless, this was her moment to shine. I set it on my seat and I will show you what is around the seat. This plane has two cabins, first class and economy. We're going to be concentrating on the economy with extra leg room. <laughs> so let's go through the seat area, um, just because I'm here by myself now. So anyways, I have two windows right here next to me. Seat bucket right here. And I'm sitting right behind the first class. So the leg room is pretty good. Um, and you also have a seat belt comes with it so pretty cool and then here you have the neck rest pretty standard <clears throat> right there's a the business class seat area down here you also have another uh, seat pocket and then enough space on the bottom here to store your luggage leg room as you can see yeah. so so the configuration here on the economy class, it is 3-3. Three, three. I'll get the exact amount of numbers of seats available on this flight. But anyways, so this is how the economy sitting is here on American Airlines flight down to Miami. You also have a front seat pocket for additional storage area for smaller things such as iPad. In addition, you do have a tray table that you can press the button and open like this. This table is sturdy enough to be able to hold larger items such as laptop, iPad, and serves for drinks during the flight. Right underneath, you do have a charging port that you can use to charge a large device and cell phone. Now let's sit back, relax, and enjoy our flight to Miami. So as you can see, I actually locked in. No one is next to me, so I have this deep space. The only downside about it, the divider does not move up. So that's the that only minor issue. But other than that, it's gonna be a smooth flight. Just myself on this row, so ready to go to Miami. When directed to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the airplane. In a water evacuation, life rafts are located in marked ceiling compartments. It was time for us to taxi and head over to a runway for takeoff to Miami. As we taxi, this will be a great place for me to ask that if you're enjoying this video so far, to smack the like button. Also, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing.
After takeoff, the meal service began. During this time, I started editing some video and also watching the entertainment available on this flight down to Miami. I've already reviewed this entertainment part that is available on American Airlines flight, so no review at this time. One and a half hour later, we start making our descent into Miami for this quick two hour flight. As we make our descent to Miami, I would like to provide a little bit of feedback on this flight. Overall, this was a great short flight to Miami. No complaint there. From arriving to the airport, checking in, going through security, and boarding our flight, there were no issues. The only thing that I wish Raleigh International Airport did have is a lounge availability such as priority pass lounges as they provide a way for you to be able to relax before a flight. Nevertheless, this is not an American Airlines issue, more so Raleigh Durham International Airport. On the flight, the flight attendant were super nice and very attentive. With American Airlines, you just never know what type of service you get, which is not consistent across the board. I just wish that the airline will take a little bit more time in that area and be able to train their staff to be able to provide the same service across the board no matter which cabin you're flying with. As we make our way to Miami, we pass right by Biscayne Bay where we're actually going to be staying. It allowed me to be able to see the great views of the hotel of Marriott Biscayne Bay. A review of this hotel will be coming out shortly on our channel, so stay tuned. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. When you a few minutes later, we made our landing into Miami. I have flown here many, many times. And every time I'm here, it never ceases to amaze me how big this airport is. We tax into our gate and we were ready to deplane. All right, we made it to Miami and now we are here. So we're gonna be enjoying our time for the next two days. If you enjoy watching this video, make sure you smack the like button. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.